So in today's video, we're going to talk about EA requiring team of the seasons for SBCs and as a result, investing in them. So just for the video, does start a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch for the cheapest trading guides out there for just £4, €4 Euro, or free with Amazon Prime. You'll receive daily trading and investing guides covering PlayStation, Xbox and PC with an array of methods covering all budgets. And I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million in multiple different FIFAs. And now for the last four years, I've made 10 million coins in just the first month. So in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be talking about EA requiring Team of the Seasons already for SBCs and just talking about how this investment's gonna go. Now this is because this is actually a very new thing EA have done in terms of Straight off the back, EA are requiring Team of the Seasons uh, or Team of the Weeks uh, in player SBCs and potentially we're going to require them in upgrade SBCs and icon SBCs down the line. So as a result, we're going to talk about them in, as an investment. But the thing with this is EA did not let you use the Team of the Season moments in the upgrade SBCs. When EA required a Team of the Season, it was only Team of the Seasons. And because it was only Team of the Seasons, it meant that you know there was a lack of players that can be used. Well, it's quite interesting actually because... I was uh, playing around with this, and EA have the requirement of any Team of the Season or Team of the Week is behind the webcam. But any Team of the Season also includes Team of the Season moments, which it didn't last year. And it also includes Team of the Season uh, live cards, which again, you know, we would have gone off the presumption it wouldn't have been able to work because it didn't last year. So as a result, what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about investing in Team of the Seasons and multiple different sort of Team of the Season angles. Uh, you can go and invest in for the upgrade SBCs on the gamble that they'll either be needed for tonight's, I think it's 7 times 83 Premier League or WSL upgrade SBC, or tomorrow's Icon SBC. So the first angle we're going to go for is a very easy one, and it is literally just buying the cheapest team of the season. If you are happy to gamble that tonight's upgrade SBC, um, and again, you know, I think it's one third of the upgrade SBCs require team of the weeks. More likely than not, what they're going to say is, okay, we want you to use a team of the week or a team of the season. So as a result, what would happen is the cheapest team of the seasons would rise significantly, just like when the cheapest team of the weeks rise significantly. So right now, the cheapest team of the seasons are coming in at 15k. They've been down at 14k previously, but if they are needed tonight, I do think they're easily going to go up to about 17, to maybe all the way up to 20k. But if they aren't needed tonight, because the cheapest team of the seasons are 88 rated, and 88 rated are literally 8k, these guys again only really have value in terms of um, you know being a team of the season card. So as a result, if they're not needed for the upgrade SBC or there's not a well-demanded player SBC, I can expect them dropping back down to about 12, 13k. So the first investment regarding team of the season, I'd definitely say is a little bit more risky than the next because I'd say if they're not needed, they'll go down. You know, whereas if they are needed, uh, they'll go up, and they're guaranteed to go up if team of the season or team of the weeks are needed, as they are, I think, at the moment. 18k cheaper than what team of the weeks are and these eight specifically 88 red team of the weeks are also 6k cheaper than all other team of the seasons and the reason for that is because all other team of the seasons are above 88 rated they're using the 89 exchange and because they're using the 89 exchange uh they are just more expensive because the 89 exchange is sufficiently more demanded than the 88 um, which is why there's this massive price discrepancy between the two ratings. Guards, if you're going to go and buy the discard team of the seasons, you can either go and sell them after 6pm tonight, or what you do, presuming the SBC is repeatable, is you hold on to them all the way through to Wednesday after 6pm and sell them before the Thursday Division Rival Award. You are paying 3k more for these team of the season live cards than you are paying for the team of the season cards, but obviously the benefit of these cards is they're not in packs, and they can be high. Yeah, they're not overly demanded in terms of hype. I think Costa 1 is first game, but even if these cards do get upgraded to an 89, 89s are only coming in at 19k. But unlike the discard team of the seasons who are currently in packs, uh, I don't believe these cards are going to go down if not needed for tonight's upgrade SBC because they're not currently in packs and I don't think they're going to get mass panic sold. On the contrary, because these are already 3k more than the discard ones, they'll also rise less. So in theory, this is like a lower risk, lower reward investment uh, but also, again, I think it's very safe long term, I think it's very safe short term, because again, these can be used in the requirements of Team of the Season or Team of the Weeks. And if you wanted something, again, also pretty risk-free, you can go and buy the likes of Sheaf. Sheaf is generally the cheapest 89, and I don't think 89s are going anywhere in terms of going down in price, because again, they're just, if we look at last week's trends, they're the cheapest. Uh, during the Friday evening and Saturday morning, which is obviously where we are right now. So another card, again, Sheaf. Now, obviously, if all discard team seasons rise, 
discount team seeing right now 14k he's 5.5k more it's going to take him longer to rise but the thing about sheaf unlike the 88s is he is also fodder rating which means if 89s go up sheaf goes up or unlike the 88 uh, team season lives which if 88 gold cards go up the 88 team seasons aren't going up because there are 10k more so the benefit on Chief, which the other two don't have, is he's SBC fodder, and because he's SBC fodder, he can rise for either SBC fodder or Team C. If you are actually going to go to Chief as well, there's arguably an even nicer investment, which is Bière. And the reason Bière is a nicer investment is because he's about 500 coins more than Chief, but he's a Bundesliga Team of the Season. What's the relevance of a Bundesliga Team of the Season? Next week is Bundesliga Team of the Season, in which he'd probably be able to use in the Team of the Season Cup. Well, we know he'd be able to be used in the Team of the Season Cup. Uh, and there could be hype around him there. So that's another angle you can go of 89s is you know, arguably a card you can hold on to for about a week and a half because not only could he rise for being a team season, he could rise for being an 89, but he could also rise into the hype of Bundesliga team of the season. Which then takes us on to another investment, and that other investment is um, 90 rated team of the season currently in packs. It's a little bit like the 89 rated team of the season live card, but of course these are currently in packs. Now these are better value for money fodder-wise than the 89 team of the seasons, because these are 19k for an 89, these are 19k for a 90. So in terms of fodder-wise, they're better value for money. Obviously they're in packs, unlike the 89 rated team of the season live, that's a negative. Um... Something that's good is, I guess, maybe you get lucky. Maybe they could be used as a link investment. Eh. Uh, something that's bad, the 6k more than the 88 rated team of seasons. We obviously start the video off with because they're 8k um, more. Sorry, 6k more. Uh, you know, potentially would take longer for these guys to rise if team of seasons are needed for cheap, low rated upgrade SBCs. If team of seasons are needed for high rated upgrade SBCs, people are going to be using these and not the discard ones because they'd be using 90 rateds anyway. So. These work in favour of arguably more the player SBCs that are going to require Team of the Week and Team of the Season, because I'd be very surprised if almost every single SBC, give or take, doesn't require Team of the Season and Team of the Weeks. Weirdly enough, Alvarez didn't, but um, again, I'd, I'd happily gamble that the future ones uh, will require Team of the Weeks uh, or Team of the Season. So again, the 90s work in more favour of the player SBCs than they do in the terms of upgrade SBCs. That also runs through the 91s. Uh, the only problem with the 91s is in a lot of situations it's probably going to be overkill. Uh, same with the 92s as well. Again, in a lot of situations they're going to be overkill and there's no reason to go and invest in really anything higher than that. Regarding all these Team of the Seasons, I'd probably go and sell them Wednesday before 6pm. Thursday morning with Division Rival Awards, we expect a lot of packs being opened and um, yeah, easily expect these players going down. Uh, and I wouldn't really hold on to the discard ones going into next week because the Bundesliga and the Bundesliga women are a lot more likely to have a lot of cheap discard ones than the Prem and the WSL, meaning there's just even more supply dropping them in price. So um, yeah, there are all of our investing routes. If I haven't made it obvious, your investing time is now unless you want to gamble that they aren't going to be well demanded, unless you want to gamble that they're not going to be used in today's player and upgrade SBC, in which you'll then probably go and buy them around about 10pm tonight. But that is going to go and wrap that up. Hopefully that's helped you guys out clear some, uh, some decent investments to go with. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.